back to my channel. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. In Indiana, we have been in a very long heat wave, but it is finally going to start cooling off towards the middle and end of this week. Like we're looking at high of 80, but it will dip down into the 60s and even in the upper 50s. And to me, that is like the beginning of fall weather. So in celebration of that, I just want to give you guys some fall bedroom decorating inspiration and ideas. But before we get started, if you are new here on my channel, hi, hello, and welcome. My name is Olivia, and here on my channel, I like to create all sorts of feel-good content, just plan out good for the soul. So if that interests you, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. But anyways, you guys, I, I'm so excited to share everything that I've created in today's video so without further ado let's get started Alrighty, sweet friends we are starting with a blank room right now i have found that having neutral colored furniture and pillows and blankets but then having also pops of green in your furniture i think it complements the fall colors beautifully and just any season i think it also looks really good in christmas and just year round but we are going to be starting off by adding this sign. I'm switching out all these signs up here, even the spring ones. They are, are all from Hobby Lobby. I love finding them when they are half off. But I'm switching out one of the fall uh, one of the spring ones with this beautiful fall one again from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm adding in a home goods wreath that I had twined in some Halloween lights that I purchased from Kroger and they do twinkle a little bit which is really pretty at night. Now I'm just adding another either home goods or TJ Maxx throw pillow. I found I really don't have a whole lot of fall colored pillows but that's okay. We are making do with what we have. Now on this bed tray, I'm just adding some more fall goodies and I found these beautiful acorn lights from Home Goods. They were around 13 to 15 dollars, but I th I was going to put them in my car like around the around the front, but you know what? I think that they look absolutely perfect right here on my dresser. And this fall sign, I actually whipped up this morning. Um, I just used some thrifted um, doilies, as you can see on the background, that sort of frames it in. Um, I used some brown cardstock. I tore out some book pages, and then I used some copper colored parchment paper, uh, not parchment paper, cardstock copper colored cardstock to write out fall and I think it turned out so perfect and it's a cheap and easy way to add more decor. Here I'm just adding a table runner from Home Goods. I love all of the gold and green and pink tones in it um, but here on my wooden or inside my wooden lantern I will be switching that up later on but I'm going to move over to my nightstand while I think of what I'm going to do. Now I'm just adding some more fall goodies. I love layering baskets with a wreath and with a pumpkin. I think it's a great and easy way to decorate for fall with pieces that you already have. Now here we are <laughs> rearranging what I had placed under the lantern. So I'm just adding a orange pumpkin instead of that white one and I did add it on a riser just so you can see the pumpkin much better and I absolutely love it and how it complements all of the fall colors in this little corner. Now I'm just going to be adding some little pumpkins to add some more fall vibes and just some more pops of color. Now I felt like my headboard was missing just something a little bit extra. I am a very extra person if you guys cannot tell. So I'm just adding another Home Goods or TJ Maxx uh, garland that I had purchased from last fall. And I absolutely love the uh, pillow pumpkins on it um, and just the tassels. So... We are going to be doing the overview here pretty soon. So I hope you guys enjoy the last few minutes of this decorating video and I will catch up with you here at the end. <music>
video. But before you go, um, to everyone that has left super sweet comments on my last fall decorating video, which was part two, and it was last week. If you're wondering why I have not responded to your sweet, sweet comments, it is because I have had a crazy hectic week. It was jam packed full of celebrations, uh, lots of love and lots of smiles and uh, all the good vibes. I am, might I say, I'm socially drained <laughs> for the next like two weeks, um, but it was absolutely amazing. And I'm just very blessed to have friends and family and loved ones. So first off, my best friend got married and I was her maid of honor. So it was a two day event for me. Um, and I did put together a wedding moment, get ready process and also the ceremony and wedding like reception. Uh, all those special moments, I did put them into a little reel and that is over on my Instagram. So I'd love for you guys to go check it out to see what I was up to and just to see my beautiful best friend and um, her very special day. And my Instagram is Olivia Effie and I'll leave a link down below. And then the next day I had to leave the wedding super late and wake up super early because I was invited to a another bridal shower from another dear friend. So I was very thankful for her to think of me for that special day as well. And then Sunday, oh my goodness, my mom, I don't know if she wants me to tell this, but I think it's a very proud fact. Um, my mom turned 60. Um, so I was very happy. I feel like just with the wedding, it was definitely hard to celebrate all week long, but we did go out to dinner with uh, my immediate family. So that was another special moment. And I can't wait to celebrate my mom more. I feel like I didn't really get to a whole lot, but um, yes, I have been super crazy busy, but it was, it was absolutely amazing and so yes, so I'll definitely try to be getting to all of your thoughtful compliments here this week. Um, but if you want to watch more fall content, you guys definitely hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, I go full out once we get closer to uh, mid to late September and of course October and all my home tours for fall and Halloween. I cannot wait to share those with you. And definitely don't forget to go follow me on Instagram at Olivia Effie. I will leave that link down below. And I will also leave my fall playlist link down below as well. So you can watch all my other fall decorating videos from this year and from last year, you guys. Oh my goodness. So I will not keep you any longer. I hope you all have a very fun time decorating your bedroom for fall. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye guys.